Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn Embers and welcome to the very first speed build of 2020 on my channel. Now I know I'm very late to the party and hope plenty of people have uploaded their very first video for 2020 but I'm always late to the party so I'm just sticking to what I know to so there we go. So I am building a two bedroom starter home um i originally wanted my very first 2020 speed build to be at uh, some townhouses but they're taking forever to do i didn't know that that they would take so much time they're just eating decorations on upon the decorations oh they're just taking so much time with the eating decorations and they will come out soon hopefully next wednesday hopefully i don't know so, but they will be coming out soon i don't know when but hopefully next wednesday so on monday i realized that townhouse video it has it's not gonna make it it's not gonna make it till wednesday i'm not gonna get it done in time so i need to quickly think of a video that i could do that will be nice and quick I haven't done it before and it will be easy to do and get out for you on Wednesday because I feel a little bit left behind with everybody um, uploading videos here there, and over and I haven't even started so um, I quickly think to myself what can I do then I remembered on Saturday me and my sister had a bit of a sister day because um, it's been a while uh, so we planned on to making rock cakes because my sister loves Harry Potter and Hagrid makes rock cakes and uh, so we went down to Sainsbury's get some of the um, ingredients for said rock cakes we then had some coffee we then made said rock cakes uh, they were cherry and sultana by the way we couldn't find any sultana so we just bought those little uh, razor boxes and then we played The Sims because my sister introduced me to The Sims but um, she doesn't really play it these days. She doesn't really have time. So, um, and since she's played The Sims, quite a few packs have come out since then and she wants to explore Discover University which she gave me for Christmas Prezi and she just want to have it a bit explore and play with it. And so she made uh, two guys one guy was inspired by a guy she saw down Sainsbury's. I think he works there. I think I've seen him before. Um, but he's a ginger guy. Apparently he looked quite jolly and happy. And she took a liking to him. And so she made him in The Sims along with another guy. I will hopefully put up a little picture so you can see um, what she created. Oh, she also uploaded them to my gallery. So if you're like to have them in your own game i'll be very happy if you um if you um did decide to do that because then i can show her that some ha someone has sort of like um downloaded to their library and then that will make her happy that will make me happy and that was just very happy and um so yes yeah, she built she built she made these two guys and she wanted a two bedroom style to home but amongst the many and many many of these one bedroom starter homes there were very few two bedroom starter homes and so I thought oh I need a video to do why not do that one because I was going hey don't worry you can use one of my starter homes but I've done the exact same thing I haven't gone about and made a two bedroom starter home so let's go about make a two bedroom starter home so that is how how this idea came up I'm building a two bedroom starter home um, to make it a bit more challenging for me, I decided to make it what well, I originally wanted it to be completely base game. As you can see here, I am putting in some season stuff because as I was building this, this was go more going into sort of a cabin kind of look, like forestry cabin kind of look. And um, for some reason, I could not find a plain and simple spandrel in base game all they have in base game spandrel wise are fancy and elaborate spandrels i do not want fancy or elaborate spandrels because when you put fancy or elaborate spandrels on a forest type cabin and then stick on the, these um these shutter type windows it kind of looks more like a um western kind of cowboy kind of 
look to it and that is not the look I was trying to go for um, perhaps one day I could do that but not today so I thought I know there is a nice simple spandrel in seasons and so I decided to include that one expansion pack so all this includes is base game and seasons there are also nice, some very nice cheap windows in the uh, season expansion pack and they were much cheaper I believe than the uh, base game windows so I cho chose to include seasons um, there also the reason why I did uh, 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 <laughs> well the reason why I also did a base game build and a well I tried to do a base game build but also restrict the pack because you know Christmas has been and gone um, there might be some people out there just getting uh, Sims 4 for Christmas and perhaps thinking um, what other pack could I get I personally would prefer either looking at Seasons Cats and Dogs uh, Discover University uh, because Discover University is very good gameplay and has some nice building by cats and dogs you get cats and dogs you get new world and very nice building by some nice gameplay um, seasons you're not living in permanent summer um, and also there's some nice building by and gameplay so that's the packs I will be looking at and also for Game pack will be looking at parenthood and stuff pack probably laundry day just because nice items and good gameplay. Um, so I thought Seasons was a good pack to introduce because it had everything I wanted and people will probably be looking at Seasons because it's a great pack. Um, so that is why that was such a long explanation. So um, this lot at the end of it you are left with 770 I know that is not a, the greatest amount of money to be left when buying a starter home but it's better than nothing um, I do have to say the starter home that my sister found on the gallery I cannot remember for the life of me I apologise for that for the name of the person who created this starter home because they did a really good job because one they did a bungalow so they save money with the stairs and not creating a second floor or first floor whatever you like to call it they save money by doing not doing that they also um actually did a pretty good job because they've got a pretty good looking kitchen in there they got a tv in there a computer in there and a bathtub in there that's pretty good for a two bedroom starter home and my sister was left with quite a bit of money left over so they did a great job i didn't do as great a job because yes i did spend that extra bit of money to go upstairs and so i've only got um a TV and a bookcase for entertainment wise so apologies for that um, in the bathroom you do see me putting down a, a season shower I do delete that so I could buy said bookshelf and put in some paintings uh, some sort of white lamps for the uh, dining table and the desk here um, I also hope that the, the when I was taking the screenshot for the kitchen, the kitchen, there was just too much wall for the kitchen because there should be overhead counters. Overhead counters for those counters that I put down there, but 150 each. I was like, no way, I'm not going to spend that much on counters. So I decided to put down some shelves. As I was taking said screenshots, I was thinking, okay, they need something on it. Then I had the light bulb moment happening, light bulb. And remembered, yes, you can use life edit objects to decorate the garden. So it's not just a house on a plot of land. So you've got a nice, lovely, lush garden going on. It's a bit wild, but it kind of suits the aesthetic of this house. And I remembered you can also find clutter items that the sims use like glasses bowls pans and like cooking stuff like um olive oil so i put them on there and they look good it looks lived in it looks a bit more thought about so it doesn't look as empty as the upstairs because yes i am well aware the upstairs is very barren i i am well aware of that i just thought you're only sleeping up there you're not going to take much notice are you you're just sleeping up there no shh so i thought to spend more of the money downstairs um so yeah you are left with 770 
$770, that's much e easier for me to say. Um, depending on what lot you plot it on, it depends how much you get back. But if you plot it on this lot, which is not a base game world, it is in the Windenburg world, the island. This is the one that I plot it on. It's the 20 by 15 on the island in Windenburg, which is what you get in Get Together. I know it's not a base game world, but the base, base game world was too suburban. And so it didn't quite fit in with the aesthetic of this home I had in mind, which was more of a cabin forest kind of home. I'm speaking very quickly because this video is going to end soon because it is one of the quickest videos I have on my channel as of yet. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I'll spend a little bit more on that one light because it's quite dark. I'm going to leave you guys here. So I'm going to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, please enjoy the rest of your 2020, whatever it may bring you. I hope it is everything that you wish for. I don't know if that message is late, but I don't know. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please don't like, like and subscribe. Please enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you and goodbye.